Expedition Week or Driver Appreciation Week, we're a little behind. We chose to push it off a week because of all the things that have transpired. I am so proud of our organization. We've had probably across CTG, we had a uh, little over 900 drivers that live in the state of Florida. Uh, so we were working hard uh, last week getting a good head count from everybody on how everybody was doing. So because of all the work, we decided to push it off a week. So thanks for everybody's patience. It's not that we didn't appreciate everybody last week. We just made, need to make sure we knew where everybody was and how everybody was doing. So today's the day. Well, that's our sales meeting next week. <laughs> today's the day as we kick off uh, Driver Appreciation Week, our Safety Expedition Week. You know, as we think about um, our industry, you know, we're important to the economy, aren't we? Mm -hmm. well, we're important to the economy, aren't we? Yeah, there's several sayings out there, you bought it, we hauled it. You know that? You bought it, we hauled it. And uh, that's an old one that's been out there a long time. And so we just want to say thanks to uh, all of our professional drivers that work with us. Uh, who used to drive? Anybody on this side of the building used to drive? I want to see some hands here for a second. I didn't think so. I want y'all to see that for a second. And I want this group to see that. How many of this group drive? Raise your hand. <laughs> It's a, uh, and I'm going to speak frankly, not many of these folks on this side understand what y'all do. There's not many on this side that understands what they do. Anybody over here ever been a dispatcher before or a fleet manager? 
Okay. We got okay. one or two. Okay. So okay. the common ground is we're all trying to pick up freight and deliver freight. <coughs> and we're trying to do it safely too, right? So thanks everybody for that. We're going to have some fun this week. There's going to be lunches going on each day. And uh, I just wanted to welcome everybody. It's fun to be able to do this. And thanks for the group, Sam, and the team that did this. We started this a few years ago, so it's a lot of fun. So thanks, everybody, for participating in that. David? Yeah, I'd just, I just like to add a little bit on, from Joey's remarks there, is that, you know, we started, my wife and I started this company, my goodness, 31 years ago with 25 trucks. And... You know, we, we, the drivers were just so, so precious. I, I miss those days, probably up to whatever, four or five hundred trucks when she and I knew everybody's names. And, you know, since then it's more and more difficult to get. The thing that impresses me, though, about a couple of things, number one, just to let you know, this wasn't what's going on this week. It wasn't edicted from the third floor saying, go do something. This came down really from this group over here behind us and, you know, led by the, the, the team down here and the safety and, and other part of the departments within the company that said, how are we operations driven? How are we going to show appreciation to the professional drivers that we got? And so everything you're going to be experiencing this week was really thought process through there. And so that's, that makes it even more genuine. It makes it more real, not something that an email came from me and said, go do this, do this, do this. They just told me to show up at 10.15 today. And so, you know, but, but the, the, the professional drivers, and there is a difference. You hear, you know, one of the things that we started a few years ago, and it's true, uh, and, and that is the term professional drivers, because there is a difference between a professional driver and a driver. And we want all the professional drivers to come work for us. And it is something that says, folks, you are doing something that the vast majority of the United States citizens cannot do. You're doing something. Besides, as Joey said, the economy and helping. And I mean, what was it? Uh, Irma hit. Uh, uh, Harvey hit. What was the first one? As soon as they realized what kind of shape are we in, what did you see start happening then? Trucks. Trucks started going straight in into those zones that were nobody else was allowed to. Is because of what you are providing the United States economy. And so it's something to be proud of and something to, to realize that you are doing a job that a lot of people cannot do. And we realize that. We thank you. We thank you for saying, I want to come to work at Covenant. I want, to, I want to make my career. I want, to, I want to start my career. I want to come to work for this company for whatever reasons that you did and, and, and decided upon. And we sincerely want to say thank you all for that. And this is our way of lifting you up and saying, hey, ladies, hey, guys, you do a great job. Yeah, we're going to be issues. That's life. Life has issues. That's why it's called work. It's called work because we work. But we come together and try to make when there are problems and when there are issues, what can we do together to make it a success? And so I just wanted to take a few minutes to say thank y'all. Thank you for working here. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Sam? Again, thank you, David. Those of you all don't know, uh, and some of you may be new. This here is Joey Hogan, who's the president of the Enterprise. And, of course, this is David Parker, the founded. Uh, I'd just be sitting to this. is Richard Cribbs, the CFO. And, again, I wanted to say thank you to all these folks over here that made it happen. David, David did a great job saying that, but it comes from you guys. So thank you very much. But before I close out this thing, let's give the professional drivers one more huge thank you. Please. Yeah. cheering I heard this so this morning and I heard a UT all Saturday. Amy, don't shoot me. Um, I get the pleasure and the opportunity every Monday to talk to our professional drivers. 
and I tell them that David and Jacqueline Parker founded the company 31 years ago in 1986, and he founded, and they founded the company on Christian principles. And I ask, how many people knew that? And inevitably, there's probably 50% of the people, those professional drivers that I welcome in, say I knew that. And the first thing I say is, and we're not perfect. I work here, so we're not perfect. So I want to make sure we keep on that theme of not being perfect. But I just want to say a quick prayer while we're all gathered here for our professional drivers as they're out on the road, as I think about who, who's heard of Donner's Pass? You know, they have snowfall in what? Not inches, but in feet out there. So we know that the snow's getting ready to hit. We know that the wind is getting ready to blow in the Wyoming area and the sleet and the snow. And what is our safety slogan? Awesome! I heard it more from here than here! But anyway, let's just say a quick prayer for our professional drivers that are out on the road, please. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we are so grateful and we are so appreciative for the sacrifices that these professional drivers make to our industry, to come to transport, and to our customers. We can't spell CDL, Lord Jesus, and we don't understand the sacrifices that they make for the people that just we mentioned, Lord. But as I think about them, and we talked about it, as the winter weather is going to be close to coming through here, Lord Jesus, I just pray. I pray that your hand of protection, Lord Jesus. We just don't flippantly say this, Lord, because your word tells us where two or three will be gathered, I will be in your midst. And I pray specifically and especially for these professional drivers that you would protect them and draw that hedge of protection around them, Lord. Please keep them safe out there, Lord Jesus. My wife, our kids, our friends, they're out there, so we all need to be safe, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Help us to have a great week, Lord Jesus, recognizing our professional drivers and also making sure we think of our theme of being safe, Lord. Help us to have a great day in your precious name. Amen. Thank you, guys. Lunch will be served. Win, Andy. Talk to us next. Where at, Andy? Outside in the pavilion area. It'll all be set up. You grab your plates. So if you've got items on you, you know, and you need to go to the truck, uh, you got about 45 minutes, please. Go, you know, do, do your thing, and we'll be ready to eat some good lunch. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.